good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Samvel Antonian, Kerry, on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Anahit Manasian presented to the ambassador of the Netherlands the problem caused by the blockade of the Berzo Road. The final agreement is visible. State Department representative, more than 300,000 signatures have already been collected, stated that Pashinyan's recognition of Artsakh as a territory of Azerbaijan is unacceptable for the Armenian people. Queen told Masyan to Ambassador Yan Fan. The last call, society was celebrated in Artsakh. In Cologne, the pomegranate monument commemorating the victims of the genocide against Armenians with the inscription, This pain belongs to all of us, was removed again. Samvel Antonian Kerry, uncle, was born on January 15, 1967 in Javak. In June 1988, he was supposed to go to Kirovagrad to study at the Civil Aviation School. It was at the Svartnots airport that he tore up the ticket and joined the Artsakh National Liberation Movement. Samvel's words path started from the border regions of Armenia, Khanzorot, Kornizor, Yeraskhavan. Every time before going to battle, he sang the song Kerry dedicated to the great Haiduk leader, Kerry, for which his friends gave him the nickname Kerry. On January 9, 1991, Kerry performed his last task. A child was to be born in Artsakh. The pregnant woman had to be moved from Harzi to Gish, near the village of Garadoglu, the car is ambushed by the Azaris. He fought against the Azaris until his last breath, covering a pregnant woman whose husband has already been killed with her injured body. He fell heroically after fighting alone. He had many notes about the independent homeland and the national army in his notebook, where he expressed his thoughts. No matter what happens, one must be a soldier of one's homeland. With the last drop of blood, he must take revenge, speak a word of anger and struggle. What is our arm form, if not to protect our nation, land and honor? Protecting the honor of Artsakh means thinking about our heart, he wrote. According to the testimony of one of the witnesses of the genocide against Armenians, Fayez al Hussein, an Arab under Turkish rule, deputy governor of Harbert, and later a lawyer practicing in Damascus, Turkish grocers used the pages of many ancient Armenian manuscripts and old books, including pages decorated with miniatures as worthless wrapping paper. The losses of Armenian fine arts and applied arts on the territory of the Ottoman Empire since the Hamidia massacres were enormous. Based on numerous studies conducted by Armenian and foreign experts. Remarkable examples of the deliberate destruction and appropriation of the medieval manuscripts decorated with miniatures, frescoes, sacred paintings, sculptures, monuments of hatchcars and sculptures of crosses, various samples of applied art stored in Armenian monasteries and churches are revealed. This testifies to the cultural vandalism that took place at the time and continues regularly even today. The Hamidian massacres of the 1894-1896 were followed by mass massacres of Armenian planned and carried out by the Young Turks. During the years when the Armenian people were persecuted and expelled from their historical homeland, Sultan Hamid and then the Young Turk government and then also the Kemal government aimed not only to exterminate the Armenian people but also to destroy all material evidence of centuries-old Armenian civilization and culture. During the years of the Hamidia massacres and the genocide against the Armenians in particular, our medieval architecture, which represented an extraordinary historical, spiritual and artistic value suffered losses. In Armenian inhabited areas of Western Armenia and Constantinople, most of the monastic complexes, churches and religious buildings were looted, destroyed and set on fire. The fortress city of Ani, known in the Middle Ages for its magnificent thousand and one churches, was also threatened with extinction. Evidence of this is a letter written on May 25, 1921 by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's advisor Riza Nuri Bey to Kazim Karabekir, the commander of the Eastern Front. Riza Bey calls for the complete destruction of all traces of the monuments of the city of Ani, thereby rendering a great service to the Turkish government. On May 25, the human rights defender Anahit Manasian received the ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to the Republic of Armenia, Nicolas Kermers. The ombudsman presented to the guest issues related to the protection of the rights of the inhabitants of borderline settlements, the problems arising from the blockade of Berzor Corridor, issues related to the missing servicemen. She especially stressed the fact of Azerbaijani armed forces' aggression against the ambulance and medical personnel in the borderline 
signed settlement of Armenia on May 17, stating that it is a clear violation of international humanitarian law. Speaking about the cooperation with the Netherlands, Anahit Manassian stressed the importance of the memorandum of cooperation signed with the Liberal Policy Institute NGO on November 3, 2022, according to which the parties implement the combating hate speech to establish pluralism and tolerance in the democratic society program financed by the royal government. The ombudsman also briefed the ambassador on the priorities of the structure, including protection of the rights of children, women and persons with disabilities, non-discrimination. In his turn, the ambassador congratulated Anahit Manassian on her election as human rights defender, stressing that he attaches great importance to the effective interaction between the embassy and the institution of the human rights defender. During the meeting, the two sides agreed to continue their close contacts. Washington supports the continuation of Armenian-Azerbaijani talks, said U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller, commenting on a meeting yesterday in Moscow between the leaders of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia. We were not involved in the talks, but they remain a priority for us. As you know, the Secretary of State hosted both sides here in Washington a few weeks ago. We know the talks continued in Brussels after that, and we support their continuation, Miller said, stressing that remains a priority for us. He reiterated Washington position that an agreement is achievable and both sides must work together to reach agreement on outstanding issues. The government of Western Armenia welcomes the efforts of the US and Russia on the peaceful settlement of the Artsakh issue. We believe that the two support powers understand that the issue will not reach a final solution until the right of people and the integrity of the territory of Artsakh, which was established in 1991 by the free expression of the will of the indigenous people of Artsakh are restored. Mr. Fang Yong, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the People's Republic of China to the Republic of Armenia, was received in the Parliament. We discussed the security problems of Armenia and Artsakh. As an eyewitness, we talk about the tense situation in Sotk, the shooting as a result of which the Armenian side has victims, the fact that twice the ambulance was shot at, and that 800 workers of Sotk gold mine are still in a forced downtime. I mentioned to Mr. Ambassador the results of the trilateral meeting of Michel. Pashinyan Aliyev in Brussels, noting that Pashinyan recognized the territory of Soviet Azerbaijan with Artsakh as part of it, whereas at present this state doesn't exist, and contemporary Azerbaijan is not the legal successor of Soviet Azerbaijan. It was emphasized that the decision of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Armenia dated July 8, 1992, reads to consider unacceptable for the Republic of Armenia any international and domestic document in which Artsakh would be referred to as part of Azerbaijan. Hence, in case of of signing any such document, there will be serious claims to its legitimacy. I told about the progress and results of the collection of signatures under the slogan, No to the Ethnic Cleansing of Artsakh, initiated by me. I noted that 300,000 signatures have been collected so far, which confirms that the recognition of Artsakh as Azerbaijani territory by Nikol Pashinyan is unacceptable for the Armenian people and I presented to Mr. Ambassador serious problems of democracy in Armenia and reminded about the unlawful acts of the author authorities against me and other deputies. We express readiness to expand the frameworks of cooperation and, in this context, I noted that it's important for us to study the experience of China with developing economy. The chairman of the NA Standing Committee on Protection of Human Rights and Public Affairs, non-partisan Taguhit of Masyan. Today, on May 26, the last bell rang, marking the end of the school year for the rest of the educational institutions of the Republic and the end of school life for the graduates of high school number 11, named after John Gideon in Stepanagert. The 12 years marathon has come to an end. The long-awaited, most memorable holiday filled with words of warmth and gratitude, good wishes and unforgettable moments has come. The last school bell is the first call to adulthood, which heralds the beginning of a more responsible stage, what will be depends to a large extent on you, said Grigorian. According to graduate Nanes Arksian, the last years of school life were spent in extreme conditions and tests, epidemic, war, blockade. The three years have been full of trials. The educational process began unusually and thus began our unusual school year. But we found the strengths and continued our studies normally, says the graduate, adding that she sees her future in Artsakh and will study, live and create here. The government of Western Armenia salutes its beloved children on the 
occasion of the last bell, wishing them peaceful sky and a happy future in Artsakh world. We are sure that you, as descendants of the valorous Artsakh people, will not surrender to any difficulties, continuing the work of your grandfathers, father and brother, upholding your fundamental rights. You will bring the issue of the final liberation of the motherland, the holiest of holies for us all, to a victorious end. Once again, we salute you and wish you new victories. Good luck. On the evening on Wednesday, May 24, the pomegranate monument to the victims of the genocide against Armenians with the inscription, This pain is for all of us, was again removed by order of the Kolom municipality. As we have reported in previous articles, the district governor's office has announced that from March 2023 to April 2024, it is more than shameful that an organization that ignores the privilege granted to its own officials to the district administration has now backed down in the face of Turkish denial. The owner of the initiative and the Armenian community of Cologne will continue to fight. The online Hagalil, which covers familiar Jewish life and Germany, cites an article about the Cologne monument that appeared in the Turkish Daily Harriet in early May. According to this and other sources, 50 representatives of Turkish non-governmental organizations in and around Cologne, notorious of denying history, demanded the removal of the Armenian monument, stating that it disturbs public order, social peace, and is an attack on public order and the culture of social reconciliation. Of course, the mayor of Cologne, Henriette Recker, has longed for such statements and has always observed a moment of silence to ensure that the voices of Turkish denialists are never silenced. The spirit of condemning denial is in line with the Bundestag resolution of June 2, 2016. The government of Western Armenia regrets the similar behavior of Germany, one of the most important states in Europe. We believe that such behavior is related to the secret agreements between Germany and Turkey during the First World War. Despite the passage of 100 years, states are not able to move away from their past and put forward an independent policy. We hope that Germany, which has found the strength to apologize and pay reparations to the Jewish people, will condemn the genocide committed against Armenians by its ancient ally, Turkey, and place the memorial to the martyrs in Cologne in the same place where it was placed. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Ты, 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 ты,